He's on the toilet, dude. He's on the toilet. Yeah. I'm not. Look, I got pants on. Check it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the 11 viewers we have are going to enjoy this episode a lot. Okay, so we're going to catch enough. up today with Phil yeah. because you did a call on CCL. You got you to gotta bring us up to speed on how that's actually doing. Uh, it's doing okay. I mean, I have two years, so I'm not, <laughs> not, not stressing it. not chopping at the bit. <laughs> and by the way, I have to say, I did go short on Zoom, so I'm, I'm very offended by the use of supporting Zoom's platform for this uh, meeting. <laughs> for, this, for this meeting. You know what? I, let's go around. Let me bring this up because I was looking into... Well, I know we're, we're already losing our topic. We're going to just talk about our calls. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but no, we got to do this Zoom thing now because this is fascinating. I have a hundred and fifty dollar put for like a year and a half. I don't remember what the price was when I actually bought it. It was lower than this because it's gone up the past week. No, but you see, so you, so you paid a little bit more, right? No, he paid less. I paid less. Well, you leave that screen. Yeah. Look at the price to earnings ratio on Zoom. Uh, that, that listen, that's what I'm telling Carlos for like <laughs> weeks now, <laughs> and I'm saying, dude, this is going to tank. It's just absolutely. It's a no brainer. This is going to tank. Absolutely. Because this is stupid. They're going to they're gonna absolutely get crushed, especially since they've had this bad uh, press that people have been Zoom bombing and coming in and like, yeah. you know, putting, uh, you know, dick pics on, on <laughs> yeah, you know, teachers. Right. And, right. And I, teachers I'm one of those people. <laughs> 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 but who gives a shit? Look at their PE. Yeah. Forget about any security problems. Absolutely. Without, without question. I'm with you. Yeah. That this will take basically what this I keep telling Carlos. This is going to take sixteen hundred years for them. <laughs> this is a thousand six hundred years for them to make any profit. If you bought the company it, today, they're they're way. I mean, they're making point. They're making nine cents per share. Uh, that valuation of forty one billion dollars is just not sustainable. Yeah, Which is they, funny they, because Tesla was at forty one billion six months ago. Yeah, but the forty the forty one billion has nothing to do with with the actual uh, company itself. Tesla actually, you know, makes cars and releases a valuable yeah. product. Yeah, they have. They're worth. Assets. They're worth a forty billion. Well, that, that's my point. Region. When they were forty billion dollars, I mean, Carlos are discussing should we buy it? We obviously should have just right. put a mortgage <laughs> right. on our house and bought it all. Yeah, <laughs> the only reason they're a forty billion dollar company is because of that price to earnings. People are buying these shares. At sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred dollars per dollar they earn, you're That's paying seventeen hundred dollars almost for every one dollar that this company of makes. They're and setting I'm, themselves up to be like the MySpace of this video thing. Like they they were there when everyone needed it, and then competitors just take them out of business. The, o the only thing that's going to happen is they're possibly maybe they'll get acquired by somebody. Um, but they're going to get crushed by Microsoft. They're going to yep. get crushed by Google. You well, know, people it, are gonna be I agree with you on that. The, the thing is right now, everybody, including us, are all Zoom videoing because it's so easy. So it is. But, but none they of the did other, do none something of the here. Ones are as streamlined. I, 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 pulled the, I pulled the trigger on and I was like, I, I can't. I can't not take this. I can't let this go. I can't let this yeah. go. <laughs> okay. So uh, how, how, much, how, much, how much did you actually short them? Uh, what was your put? How many contracts? Uh, I, I think just one because it's a very expensive contract. Uh, right. It was for a year and a half. You got it. Yeah. So I, I bought one contract, but it was, it was a couple of grand for that one contract because wow. it's $150 to sell it in like two years. So whatever the... Um, I don't remember exactly what I paid for it. Something what kind like of investor is this man? I remember, I remember every little penny that went into every stock. I, you know what? I, I do a lot of investing and I, I have, you know, a, a number of things going right now. So remembering the exact price points of certain things is just, you know, and I don't have, have you shorted phone anything phone. else lately besides Zoom? Um, yes. City, Citibank, City Group. Don't buy well, they, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not actively buying right now, but I have them in my dividend portfolio. Banks are going to get destroyed. There are going to be so many loans that get defaulted on. And they're they're, they, their next two quarters, they're going to take monster hits, I think. If they remove their dividends, then yes, I would actually sell them because I want I the know, dividend. I, I think bank dividends are fairly safe. I don't think they're oh, going okay. I, I don't, to I don't think, I mean, listen. They, they might, you know, and banks need to, to you know, preserve as much capital as right. well when they're getting hit. Um, but I, I would say it's fairly, you know, relatively safe. You know, when you had Carnival, 
uh, that was, you know, at, when I got it in, it was like a 20 something percent dividend. Like that's just not sustainable. I knew they right, were going right, to get right. rid of it. Well, yeah, it Carnival's in a different position too. Carnival yeah. might actually go out of business where these banks aren't going out of business. We know that. No. That's not happening. And I, I don't yeah. think Carnival yeah. is either, to be honest with you. That's the good thing about having it in that app. So I was telling Phil about M1. Where like, for example, you don't have to go to the, if you just want to get rid of those banks from the portfolio, it's pretty easy to just get rid of them and put that money somewhere else. It's not as complicated as it would be if it was in your actual portfolio. You know what I mean? We're going to go over that, Carlos, on another video because I, I might, I might do that. <laughs> so I'm going right. to take a look. Well, let's take a look. This is the, this is the, um, the option chain for. Oh, you went uh, to the 2022? Is that where you went? This is as far out as it can go. January 21st. So now this is. This is the, the bids are here. Bids and asks are at the end. So we're looking at, at 150 right now, it's 50 bucks. That's five grand. Yeah. Five, that's a five grand. Right. That's a five grand for the 21st, but the stock price is at this price right now. If, when you bought it at 130, when you bought it at 130, this should have been cheaper. When the, when the price of the stock goes down, a put gets more expensive and a call gets cheaper. When it goes up, a call gets more expensive. I don't know offhand, like I said, I don't have my portfolio in front of me. I'm, I'm sitting in a bathroom on a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> I actually Listen, think it's gonna fall to around, there's gonna be a big bounce somewhere, but around 80 bucks, somewhere they, around they, there. Right now, they, they have a massive influx of users because people are, stuck at home they need a way to communicate and this is what's out there once microsoft and google perfect this these guys will be history in my opinion once people put that into their workflows you have to give them a reason other than microsoft's doing it they have to make it even easier they have to make it they have to have some feature to go along with it to force people to change the, the people the people that will continue to use this are people that don't care if they get hacked like if somebody came into this conversation right now and and right. you know started dro dropping bombs in here right. none of us would care we probably would care. Care. it would probably add viewers to it right exactly <laughs> depending on what they were wearing let's say you know the the ceo of a huge corporation was in alcoholics anonymous and they go in and they screen grab everybody that's in there well now they can blackmail this guy. That's a huge security thing. It's supposed to be alcohol. It's anonymous for God's sake. They'll either license themselves, build themselves into app. They'll just try to become the video the, partner within companies yeah. to make money on a licensing fee. Possible, very possible. No, no, they're, they're definitely going to do that. Smart. That would but be once again, once again, even if they do that, I think me and Phil are agreeing that they can't yes. do a seventeen hundred PE in a in a span oh, of let's right, say, right. Here. No, what I'm saying is that even or two years, even, even doing all of that, this, this could be you know a fifty, sixty dollar, maybe seventy dollar stock sustained. But this hundred and fifty is just people. I hope, I hope so because I'll have the right to sell it at a hundred and fifty. I hope it, you know, I hope it tanks. Yeah. Uh, right. But the thing is, they're, they're, even even at this valuation, they wouldn't even get acquired because no company would pay that multiple for no. this company. Nobody would pay you know, that. You're right. Uh, Verizon just bought another one, one of their competitors or whoever it was. They bought Blue Jeans. Yeah. You're talking a 1,700 times price per earnings. No, no company would pay that to apply that. So you spend five grand and make four grand. Look at it as percentage. If I told you, hey, you give me your money, I'll make you 80% on whatever amount you give me. In a year, like, basically. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, that, that's a great return. So we have to think of it that way. And if, if it's a 10x... Like the Tesla thing we discuss always, that's a 10x in like 10 years. This is a double in one year. Pop, that's like usually why are investors so stupid? Meaning, what do you mean? who is buying Zoom at 1700 PE right now, thinking, oh my God, it's going to go to no, well, the, whatever the it's going to go to? The people that are buying it are the same people that were watching it a month ago saying, oh my God, this stock was, you know, 30, 50 bucks. Then it went up to 100. Then it went up to 150. The sky's the limit on this thing. By the way, before I forget, you were just on Carnival. I was talking to Carlos the other day. Uh, Bring up Carnival. If you, if you day traded this stock, you could make a freaking killing on it. Exactly. On Thursday, on Thursday, the stock was like, if you could bring up the daily or the three-day chart. That's what I was, that's what Thursday, I was looking for. It dipped down to like 1160, and then by Friday, it was up to 1240. 12, 12 bucks again. Yeah, it's up right. to twelve forty. So that's, that's it's, it's basically like ten moves, right? Ten percent moves, roughly. It, yeah, it's 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 moving in ten percent increments 
daily. It goes down 10%, up 10%, down 10%, up 10%. It's the same pattern. This is You see this on a yeah. lot of stock. It's the same pattern. It jumps up from like nine till about noon. And then around lunchtime, you start seeing a sell-off and then a ramp up to like, you know, 3.30 and then a sell-off yeah. right from 3.30 to 4. It's the day trade. You could see, you could literally yeah. map Wednesday onto yeah. Thursday, 10 bucks higher. <laughs> You can see it on the chart. You see the jump up, go to the end of the day, drop down, jump up, drop down, jump up, down. You can see it. I was showing it to Carlos, and I'm like, why are we not day trading this and just making a killing? Right. Well, that's well, as soon as as soon as we get in, as soon as we get in, as soon as we get in, it'll drop sixty percent without question. No, but that that's why I was asking before about the about spending five grand to make four thousand in a year. Not yeah. because it's not a great return, but what I'm saying is with the market doing that shit with something like yeah. Carnival Go or like like Enphase, for example, it was 25. I and did you, trade Enphase though. And you, you went to 35 and you said, I'm out. If you no, I got it at 22, sold at 40. Okay. Ordered you back at 30, sold then, it at 39. Exactly. And now have another buy order and for between, I think 32. Ex but that, that's my point. If you were doing this- But I got, I got lucky. I wasn't like, uh, this is not me master trading. It's, it's, not, just, uh, it, it's not, that's not lucky. That's just following the trend and say, okay, this is a good point to get out. Let me wait for a price. Okay, I'll get back in. Okay, if it hits here. Well, it's, it's, it's to, this, to his bubble thing, why he's, why he was shorting, uh, well, why he's shorting Zoom. When I saw Enphase drop like really low, I was like, oh, this is a good purchase where I'm willing to keep the shares. Okay. At around the $20 mark. Right. When it doubled in less than a week, I was like, this is not real. Do you know what I'm saying? What you could do in that situation, if it doubles in a week, take cash out half. Now you well, have I took all of it out. I took all of it out. All of it. I I'm just saying, you're, you're playing with the house's money at that point. Right. You're taking your money off the table and whatever happens, happens. I agree with you there. The house's money, so you can't lose. Have you ever put, um, have you ever put a put option against the stock that you own? Um, yes, I have. So you have a stock at like a hundred bucks and you want to protect that price. So you put a put option at that price to go down. Yes. My, my problem with it was, is this is back when I was first starting to mess around with options and I didn't do enough protection. Um, so yes, I, I did do it against Apple actually. Uh -huh. And I, I, I didn't buy enough shares. I had some protection because I had the put option and it did actually end up dropping uh, but it wasn't enough to offset the losses that I had from the actual shares. It offset a small piece of it, but not. Well, hold on. You, you really, you had no losses unless you sold. Did you sell your Apple shares when it dropped? No, no. So you, it is no losses there. True. Okay. So you cash it True. out. Because Apple True. went back to 330 bucks yeah. before. Yeah. Obviously it tanked recently, but now it's back to 280 or 290, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you, you can do that in the short term. If you think that, like, I think that Apple's next, two quarters are probably going to be disastrous as well. Disastrous. If I want to protect my, my Apple shares, I could buy put options, let it tank and still hold my shares and just keep them there. Keep collecting that dividend right. and, you know, have that protection and sort of freeze my, my assets in place where they are. Because if the shares go down, my put option will go up. So I'm sort of protect, I'm hedging my bet. Yeah. Even though you're hedging, you know what? I don't like doing that against companies like Apple because Apple's inclination Apple, right? Apple's inclination is basically to go up. Yeah. So the stock has done nothing but go up for 30 years, basically. Yeah. I, every I every mean, dip was an opportunity in Apple. Every single you, dip. The dips are a lot smaller and further apart now. You, you, right. can, you can be wrong. I mean, listen, this is all gambling. True. However, over the <laughs> we're all long gamblers. Term, Actually, we're not investors, we're gamblers. No, we, we are straight up gamblers. Over the long term, <laughs> yes, Apple will probably go up and keep going up. But I think their next two quarters are probably going to be an absolute disaster. And I think right. the next two quarters, they will go down. But Zoom is like a no-brainer. That, that's what I'm talking uh, about. To, like, to me. To me. It's like it's literally like, saying, agree. just give me double my money in, in, a, in a year or two. Just, just I, hand I, it over. I hope, you're, I hope those words are, are true. Because no, I, no, no. I, I it's stupid. Well. This is I what, stupid. This is what <laughs> we were talking about on the, on the, on the phone. Or we were texting about yesterday. It's like. I really hope that all this stuff that we're doing works out because it's like I know. a lot of money we're all doing and we're like making moves and the strategy seems right. But it's like, man, I really hope in like a year or two on like our, you know, hundred video, it's like, yes, look at all those great moves we made because yeah, I agree with it's you. a lot of money, man. We're just going to find and, out we're idiots. And <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was talking to Carlos about it and I'm like, you know, I, I've only put like 80% of the cash that I had sitting on the sideline to work. 
And I hope I look back on it and say, you know, damn, why didn't I send all the troops onto the battlefield instead of, right. because I'm still, yeah. there's a part of me that's still cautious in this market because you read all the articles and it's just all doom and gloom, yeah. but yet your, your intuition tells you, you know, look at Boeing. This company is selling for 25% of what it was selling for two months, two, three months ago. Right. It's right. Boeing for God's sake. It's right. not you know, some no-name stock that does nothing. This is Boeing we're talking about. They're, the, you know, one of the largest defense contractors for the United States government. They make, you know, they're one of two airplane companies in the entire country. They're not going anywhere. Yes, they've hit a rough patch. They've hit them before. They'll hit them again. Obviously, I have a certain amount of money I can use for this, right? I can't yeah. use everything. So right. I'm looking at a company like Tesla, Uber, and Lyft, and I think they're going to give me outsized returns they're Boeing. all speculative stocks, sure. Right. So I feel let, let's say we recover from the reset. Let's say this recession's over in two years. Yeah. And Boeing is back at four hundred. Great. Yeah. I think Tesla's going to be way more than than in terms of percentage on, on Boeing. Like it it it, dep it depends on your your entry point and two hundred fifty bucks, baby. Where? How much? Two hundred fifty bucks. Oh, so you, you can't lose no matter what you Well, do. I'm trying to lose. Motherfucker won't go down. I'm That's trying right. to. Oh, you want to buy more. To buy I more, want to buy yeah. a lot more. I'm waiting for the, I, I've, raised my, I've raised my buy orders to around 450, 500 now. So. You should never do that. You're hedging the wrong way. You should stick with what you have and put your money to work with something else. Mm, another, I really believe, another, you see, I believe in that company. story. I believe, I mean, we're going off topic again. But yeah. I believe in that <laughs> I story. I don't even know this what the topic about. is. <laughs> This is about, this is, we're discussing now the strategy that we're going to use. And in a, yeah. in a year or so, we're going to know how it worked out. Like, we're going oh, yeah, to right, yeah. look back on this and yeah. It's true. And I, if it I, worked, I, we're going to look obvious. If it didn't work, we're going to feel like idiots. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to make another call right now on the record that we could look back on in probably a couple of weeks to a month. Uh -oh. I am going to, I'm going to go tomorrow and I'm going to buy shares of Smile Direct Club. Oh, get how, how, okay, bring that up. I got to see how much that you're is. Gonna buy them? You want like five bucks? He was talking about he was talking about doing a call option on these guys, right? Yeah, was, five bucks. You just buy it, honestly. What was this? <laughs> what's their call? SPC. Go to the short interest percentage. See if you can find it on that chart. I don't. I don't know. I'm not familiar with these this charts all, that you're uh, using. Th okay, thirty-two. Yeah. 31 million. No, right oh, the below. The percentage 43%. is fifty percent. Yeah, almost fifty percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely going to be a pop there. I agree. Oh, with they're going to get they're going to get hit with a short squeeze, and that that stock's going to shoot up. I'm making that call right now, and I'm buying some tomorrow. Oh my god! Interesting. Uh, Let's see how terrible this company is right now. Do they make they're any money at all? They're they make any money. I'm only buying. I'm only buying it for the short squeeze. When it gets that twenty percent pop, I'm dumping it. Market cap four hundred eighty-one million. Okay, and uh, about nine million. Now, now keep in mind. This, so company, they went, make no this money. company went public, uh, you know, probably eight months ago. And, oh, and they were, they went oh. public for like $27, $28. Let's see. Let's see. This is the year. Well, first of all, the, the, they're, they're, they're total trash already. I mean. Uh, Absolutely. They were. It's been yeah, they were in bad shape even before this. They were in bad shape. Even They were at eight bucks. They lost eight. eight oh, I, I, I would say any money you make at, at, after this, if let's say it goes up, pops 20, 30%, you should get rid of it. You I'm going to. Hold, you should not hold no. on to this turd. <laughs> I, I, I'm buying it. I'm buying that. And when, when it goes up to like six, seven bucks, I'm dumping it. For yeah, sure. you got to. You, you can't keep I'm just this. making it's, the call right now that this is going to get hit with a short squeeze, and I'm buying it for that purpose only. Once I once I log on on a Monday morning and I see it's up 15, 20 percent, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Uh, oh, you brought up ultra sh ultra short. Yeah, Q2 this is Q2? one. This is one that I that it, I I bought. This is because I didn't. Um, I'm not, I wasn't doing any any put options on any stocks that I had, and I didn't want to have to necessarily track it. So I put a I put a bunch into this. Hoping that this would this would help me offset any losses. Well, you, you own the shares, so I mean, believe me, this this market isn't going to keep going up and up and up. I think we're all in agreement on this that this is, seems a little bit ridiculous, or no? It yeah, it, it, the yeah. market's going to take another hit because the next two quarters for everything are just going to be absolute.
Disaster. Okay, so, so you believe, what do you believe? It's actually going to go below the 2100 S&P or it's going to just I, bounce W kind of a uh, recovery? I, I, that's, what I, I, that's what I think. I don't, I don't think we're going to touch those record lows that we had. I don't think we're going to touch them anymore either. Uh, but but I, do, I, I do see a tremendous pullback once we start getting earnings for some of these companies. I don't think it'll hit that panic level when everybody was just fire selling every share they had. And, yeah. you know, us three were the only ones buying um but i we didn't I buy enough it, me and carlos had to buy more we definitely not we buy buy, well we, I, we got a, i got a good bit of i got into like uber and 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 lyft but i was waiting for we should have we should have pulled the trigger on tesla at 350 because then we I, I agree with you i i look back at that as well and yeah, you terrible. were telling me about it and even even at that 350 valuation i still have trouble wrapping my head around that stock i do i want i want a cyber truck i mean i believe it absolutely i'm waiting for that three motor cyber truck I, uh, I got right. my order. I got my order in for the cyber truck. To, to, I, well, it's only a hundred bucks. It's only a hundred bucks. I know. To hold a... I know. But the thing is, is the, 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 what, what troubles me is it's so speculative. And that's why, like going back to what Vitaly was saying, that you're going to see where Boeing, you know, you might see a 2X or a 3X with, with a company like Tesla or whatever. It's so speculative. That's why this company will go up and down a hundred dollars a share in, in a day or two. It's crazy. It moves dramatically because well, it's you want to so talk about making it, You want to talk about making money the same way you do on Carnival. I mean, that, that's what you could be doing with Tesla. They, those big jumps like that are just chances to get in and get out real quick. Yes, but the thing is, is also I'm, I'm risking $12 per share. You know, I can get a lot more of Carnival for the same amount of money. Yes, I understand it's percentage. But, you know, if you put $1,000, you know, Carnival at $12 is more likely to go up 10, 15%. Yeah, exactly. for, for Carnival to go up 10%, it needs to go up $1.20 per share. For Amazon to go up 10%, it needs to go up $200 a share. It's, it's, right. it's, I, I understand we're talking now. about 10, <laughs> 230 bucks. Yeah. But to get, that, to get that same 10%, it's much harder to move when you're such yeah. a, a high valuation like an Amazon. I'm also a very uh, cautious person by nature, meaning I never put all my eggs in one basket. So, even though I do believe it, I would yeah. never risk everything. I would never oh, do I'm with you. I'm, I'm 100% with you. That's what I was telling Carlos the other day is that I hope we look back on this and say, hey, we should have dumped everything we had onto this, you know, dumped all the gasoline we had on this fire. Yeah. But I'm, I'm personally holding back percentages myself because I'm cautious. I'm scared. And, you know, you right. see this market and you're like, you know, when, when you're you know, looking at it and it's down 800 points one day, you know, a thousand points the next day, you're like, well, where is this going? Is it going to get much worse? And number one, not only that, you want to have a couple of, you know, bullets left in the gun in case you do need to fire off a couple of shots later down the line if things do hit the fan. Um, yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, well, I have this money sitting there, but you know, if things go sideways and the economy really does tank, like, you know, my kids still need food and clothes. So I got to have that as a nest egg. This is basically like a time capsule. It's allowing you to go back in time and buy companies at prices that they were years ago, having right. some idea about where they could go. It just, it's, it's a complete no brainer. All right. Yeah. And I, I wish I had listened to you when you, when you were, you know, shouting from the rooftops when Tesla was dropping down and it was back down to the threes. Oh my God. The day that, the day that um, Elon Musk smoked weed with Joe Rogan on the podcast, I texted you and I said, yes. this stock's going to tank, bro. Yep. And it was at 307. The next day they kicked him off the board and we're trying to get him off of, uh, off of Twitter or something. Yeah. This was after he did the thing where he said he's taking Tesla private. Yeah. And I said, dude, this stock's going to tank. And it went to 254 the next day. Yeah. And we're just like, nah, man, I'm not, I just well, don't feel it. That was funny. I, I couldn't do it. And I'm, I've been kicking myself in the ass ever since. Then. Would be, I was, I was buying all the in the bathroom on your yacht. <laughs> I was actually, when that was tanking, I was buying from 270 all the way down to 200. At 200, wow. when I got a little scared because it kept going. And right. I should have been less scared because it does yeah. hit 170, 180. And that's when I should have went hard. Of course, now in retrospect, it's all I makes know. sense. I know. But I was and buying I, all the way down to 200. I hope we're all saying the same thing about every one of these stocks that we're making. You got scared the same way all of us are keeping some money on the sidelines right now. Because yes, you look yeah. at it, you see these tremendous drops. You get yep. scared. You're like, wait a second. You know, what low is too low at some point? 